Hey everyone, today I'm gonna to be firing up an absolutely killer burger in my cast iron pan here. So if you're ready to take your burger game to the next level, this is the episode for you, so stick around. Today's recipe begins by adding some butter into a hot cast iron pan around medium heat and I like to use good Kerrygold salted butter. We're going to put our buns right on top of that butter. I'm going to toast these buns up a little bit. And just about two minutes later they're looking like this which looks pretty good to me. So I'm going to go ahead and pull these off the heat. The next thing I'm going to do is weigh out 6 ounces of good beef. This is 8515 grass fed beef. 8020 is also good. Just note that since we're cooking indoors, the higher the fat, the more it's going to smoke. So if you're using higher fat beef, you're going to want to take those batteries out of your smoke detectors. So we formed our beef into a meatball, add a little salt, a little fresh ground black pepper and we're ready for the frying pan. Now place some oil into your pan and this is over about medium heat. Not too hot, but hot enough. Spread that oil around a little bit. And then place in your meatball, seasoning side down. And then we're gonna take a pot and use the bottom of the pot and just smash that meatball down into a patty. This is how you make a smash burger. And smash burgers are absolutely delicious. You want to sprinkle with a little bit of salt on this side. A little bit more of that fresh ground black pepper. And now we're just going to let this cook for about three to four minutes on this side. While the burger patty cooks, let's check out the toppings. We've got two slices of yellow American cheese, a thin slice of tomato, four bread and butter pickles, a thin slice of red onion, two strips of bacon, and two pieces of lettuce. And we'll flip it. And I like to use a spoon on one side and a spatula on the other. Get a good flip and you can see that nice crust on the bottom. That is pure flavor right there. This is going to be one delicious burger. Two slices of American cheese. And then we're going to place on a lid. Let this cook until that cheese is nice and melty. When assembling the burger, the first thing you do is add lettuce to the bottom bun. And this is going to protect that bottom bun from grease. So the lettuce acts as a barrier between the burger and the bun. When the cheese is all nice and melted, it is time to build our burger. Good looking is that. Place the burger carefully onto the lettuce. Next thing we're going to add is the bacon, the tomato, the red onion. And I do love red onion, it is the way to go. and bread and butter pickles. You gotta go with bread and butter pickles. So sweet and delicious. And place that bun on top. Maybe a little bit of french fries to go with it. And how about a nice tall glass of cold beer to wash it all down. 
And here is the final dish, an American cheeseburger made in a cast iron pan straight from my kitchen in New York City. So that is how I like to make a burger in the cast iron pan with the yellow American cheese, french fries and a glass of beer. Let me give this thing a taste. You can see how juicy it is. This is good. This is really good. Mm -mm. Mm. Bacon, nice touch. You know, you could put ketchup on it. You could put mustard on it. Any kind of sauce you want. It's good as it is. It's great with the sauce too. Totally up to you. Mm. Burger, fries, and a beer. Just doesn't get any better than that. Mmm. Alright, that is an awesome burger. You get the crust from the cast iron pan with the salt and pepper. You've got the layer of bacon, the red onion, gotta have that red onion, tomato, and of course I love these bread and butter pickles. Serve this with some fries. These are some rosemary fries. So good. Of course, you gotta wash it all down with a beer. If you like this video, please leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and leave a comment down below. I'd love to hear your favorite way to make a burger and your favorite toppings to put on top. And of course, keep on cooking.